That's great. Thanks, Rosie, uh, for doing it first. Oh. Uh, the internet is made of cats. This is fact. This is business cat today. He's not. He's on the business side. He is the client. Um, and I'm the account manager. I'm always on, on duty, basically, thanks to social media uh, and the digital world. We can't help it. We just have to keep going. We have to keep answering their questions. This is 20 seconds. Hello. <laughs> Stop. There is. That's brilliant. It's even better. Okay. Basically, if you can match your account manager to the client at all possible, somebody uh, was talking about pitches beforehand and taking your best people to the pitches, not just the sales team, that is absolutely brilliant advice. Um, if you have passion in a relationship, it will survive and it will succeed. Um, what the account manager needs to do is get everybody motivated once the, the contract has been signed, bring the team together, know who's doing what and why you're doing it. Now the client has come to you, they probably came to you saying, I want an SEO strategy. Hopefully you've come back to them and said, actually what you need is a brand strategy or a content strategy, or we need to look, look at UX first. It's not always just about what they think is cool, which is SEO. We know it's cool, but it's not the answer to everything. So try and make sure the client understands exactly what we're trying to achieve for them. They're going to be demanding. They're going to think they're always right. They're the client, the client is always right, except when they're wrong. Um, but you have to set the guidelines, you have to set the rules by which the campaign is going to work, you have to make sure that everybody is abiding by those things, again, you're going to set yourself up to fail. So, if they're going to be demanding, and we all know we have some demanding clients and we love them because it means they're passionate about their business and what they do and they also want us to succeed, but you have to say, okay, we will get this to you by X deadline, and then if you can uh, you know, achieve that deadline, in fact, overachieve it, that's even better. Delight them rather than just you know, making them averagely happy about what you do. They will always demand more, so be aware that not to overpromise and not to sort of make fantastical, you know, comments about what it is you're going to achieve. Graham talked about forecasting. We all know forecasts can be a bit shit, um, and then after a few months, the campaign will fail because we haven't hit the forecast. So, you know, set up what you're going to achieve. Be a realistic. If you're going to have targets and objectives, make sure they're smart. And when you go wrong, you know, be honest. Apologise. It, it's not going to kill you, but it might actually win you some brownie points for later on. There is no harm in saying, do you know what, we really fucked that up, but we're sorry, um, and we're going to start again. Always be proactive. Always be looking at what is around the next corner. There are so many exciting things happening in digital and social media, um, and don't just stick to one thing. We've seen some brilliant ideas and some thoughts today, and we can all go away and be much more creative about what we do. And if you keep entertaining the client as well as just hitting the results or whatever, but coming back to them some more, it shows you care, and it shows you're interested in more than you know just the bottom line. Um, reporting, boring as hell, really, really, really important though, and monthly reports are delivered on time, when you've said you're going to deliver them, that aren't full of errors and boring spelling mistakes and stuff like that, it really makes a difference. It's your image, your company image, as well as what you're producing to the client. If you show you care, they're going to engage with you more. When you've done those monthly reports, always have booked in advance, whether it's a monthly conference call or a quarterly review, an annual review. The campaign always needs to be revised. Where are you going with it? Why are you doing it? What can we do next? <coughs> and when you do a presentation, I mean, obviously I'm in a room full of geeks here. I'm not a geek. Um, I love it. I love the world I work in. I don't fully understand it. Um, but when we do presentations, it's part of the account manager's job to make sure that the client knows what they're getting and that they can understand it. Clients aren't always going to admit that they don't understand it. Not all of them have in-house SEO. They just know that they want to make some money or sell a product or, you know, I want to be number one on Google. I'm sure everyone who's an account manager has had the angry phone call on a Monday morning because the CEO on a Sunday afternoon Googled a word and he wasn't at number one and they don't know why. Um, so make sure they do understand what it is we're telling them. 
be appropriate. And I, again, this is boring. Um, when I started working in digital after many, many years in traditional media, I was shocked at the fact that people didn't even pull their trousers up properly. Um, you know, no suits, no ties. That's cool. That's fine. But you will have to adapt sometimes for some of the older, more traditional verticals that, although digi dig digital is cool and funky, you know, bend a little their way as well. Respect what they do. Um, when you have an internal team that you're working with, and some of them, some of the links analysts, some of them that do the really ploddy SEO work that isn't glamorous and isn't fun, they're actually the, girl, the guys and the girls that are making the results happen. So always reward them, have a bit of fun with them. When you actually have some success, um, celebrate it, not just with the client, but also then go to that internal team who you've motivated, who you've worked with, you've kept informed along the whole way, um, and celebrate with them. So that could be a night out on the town, it could be a packet of biscuits or some Haribo, whatever it might be, you know, celebrate with everyone. Um, occasionally you will have to put the extra effort in a lot again because we're digital, we're always online, we can always answer queries. You do know when to stop. It is okay to say no occasionally. It is okay to think, do you know what, I can get to that email tomorrow morning rather than this afternoon. Um, but when you do put the extra effort in, or your team members do, again, recognise it. And make sure the client knows as well that it's not all easy. We, you know, we do put the hours in. Um, we all like to be a bit competitive, that's good. Um, again, somebody talked this afternoon about when you are doing a pitch and forecasting, and it's okay to say to a client, you know, actually what some company has done for you previously, we wouldn't do it that way. Believe in what you do, whether it's ethical SEO, whether it's some of the more controversial aspects that have been talked about today, brilliantly by the other speakers. Um, you know, believe in what you do and be proud of it. Thank God for that. Um, I've no idea how long that was, but there you go. Thanks very much. Is it possible for the guys who have just done the...